again, everybody. The History Guy here. It's time for the Second Battle of Bull Run, or as it was known in the South, the Second Battle of Manassas. Uh, obviously fought very close to and in parts of the First Battle of Bull Run Battlefield from 1861, July. And uh, I, I went ahead and played through the first part of the battle because I basically just don't even engage there. There was a little bit of fighting back and forth, and I think I inflicted about three to one casualties in that fight, but it was just a couple of hundred. So I'm going to pick up right here with the main part of the battle. Uh, he's going to bring in 62,000, almost 63,000, and 155 guns. I've got 53,000 and 120 guns. I actually could have had more. I've got about 8,000 men left in my force pool. But what I decided to do was that I actually decided not to put the entire uh, force in there because I knew that the enemy would scale up. And I actually felt pretty good about where I was because um, if I go any further, I'm going to be adding a fourth division to my first corps. And one of the things I figured out a while ago is that in a lot of these early battles, your fourth division never even enters the fight. So all I would have been doing was giving him additional troops to fight against me with and really not helping myself at all. So I decided not to do that. So the big question is always with Second Bull Run because Second Bull Run is probably the easiest battle you can possibly fight for the, when you fight as the North. You can win it in like 15 minutes. All you have to do is swing around here and come up and take this objective and you win the battle. Uh, as the South, it's much more difficult. And so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of question about how best to go about this. Uh, some people swear by the fact that you should move up to this uh, fortification line right here, which is what historically happened with the South. Other people say you should even move up to here to the woods and catch them out in the open there. Um, then there are those who say that you should stay back here at this uh, fortification line and fight them there. I've usually stayed right here. I've tried taking this one. I've never tried the one where you move up all the way. So I don't know. Um, maybe it's worth a try. I, I know he's going to outnumber me pretty significantly early in the fight. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll give this a try and come all the way up here to the edge of these woods. Um, these fortifications here, I don't know exactly what they offer. Um, they don't offer a lot, really. I mean, they give you a melee bonus, which is pretty big, but otherwise not a lot. Let's see how this one's any different. Um, it's about the same. So, I mean, the fortifications are the same either way. You just have a little more of them when you come right here, but you're spread out pretty thin, too. So... Uh, I'm honestly not sure what the best way to go is with this. I even wonder if maybe the way to go is to back up to this line um, where you've got the hill. I've never tried that. You know what? Maybe I'll try that. All right, so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to stop for just a second. All right, so I'm back. My apologies. Uh, my my father-in-law passed away this week, and so we've had a lot of folks stopping by. Uh, bringing meals, just kind of uh, checking in on us and stuff. So, uh, if you just if you're the praying type, you keep our family in your prayers. We certainly appreciate that. Um, back to the battle, though. So, no, 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 no. We're actually going to back up. So, I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried this before, but I'm all about trying new things. And I thought, hey, let's give this a try. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to pull as much of my force as I can over to that side because um, we're going to get reinforcements down here and there's really nothing to be gained by holding any of this really. So the more I can pull to that side, the better we'll be since that's where the main attack is going to come from. I will keep some folks out here on the edge. But really what we want to defend is back here because this is what they have to take to win the battle. So I'm going to start pulling everybody over there. And then what I'm going to do is once they're a little closer in position, I'm going to kind of realign everything. I'm also going to break off some skirmishers and look for opportunities to hit him in the flank. Because as he comes up here, at some point he's going to have to expose his flank. So I'm thinking maybe there'll be an opportunity there to get out there and maybe get some flank attacks in. So I'll get some forces out there that allow me to do that.
All right, we'll get these skirmishers out of the way. And then we'll realign this whole force. And then I'll figure out, I brought in all smoothbores for my first core artillery. Thinking that that would be the way to go. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a little bit more than we need for this line. And obviously he's uh, he's not quite into position yet to attack me, but he'll get there. All right, let's move these guys back too. I don't think we need them to be quite where they are. Maybe I'll put this brigade right here and we'll just hold Douglas back as a reserve. I may may be able to do that with Kemper as well because I don't think he's going to come up that far. So we'll bring Kemper over as a reserve. Torbert's going to be a reserve. So we'll have reserves in at least three places on the line. That'll be helpful. All right, so these will be our flankers here. If we get an opportunity to move in there and do that, might even be able to do that with Gibson or one of these other infantry brigades. I've actually got a hole in the line here. I just realized that. All right, we're going to put Kemper over here to cover that flank. I'm going to move these Napoleons back a hair and put Torbert in that spot. Where are you going, Robinson? There's not really anywhere he can get on my flank back here. Because you can't march that way. If you try to cross over here, you have to go all the way down there. So I think he just figured that out. Not sure why the AI didn't already know that. But so far, that's the only guy I see. We'll keep it on fast forward here until we actually get some action going. All quiet so far. He's probably probing and trying to figure out why he doesn't see me anywhere along this fortification line. I don't know. I just kind of like the idea of being... Uh, here, I'll let you see it a little better. You can see that we're up on this hill right here. Of course, he's going to have some cover right here that he wouldn't have otherwise had with his open field here. But I'll take my chances with that because he'll get tired coming up that hill. I prefer this view though. Alright, still nothing. I guess we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer to see the enemy approach. At the moment, let's see what we're dealing with on the field. Uh, pretty even odds at the moment. Both uh, within a, about a thousand, two thousand men of each other. I hear artillery firing, but I still see nothing. Alright, so I guess what I'll do is I'll drop out here and I will come back when there's some action. Okay, so we're on to phase two of the battle and... Uh, he has appeared on my extreme right flank, of all places. Wasn't really expecting that, but we'll compensate accordingly here. I'll send some of these skirmishers over that way just to kind of help cover the, cover the flank for the time being. See how the Stonewall Brigade's doing. Okay, but he's going to launch a melee attack on me here in a second. So, but I'll bring this thousand or so men over here and that should help. I 
And I'm going to go ahead and shift this brigade over here for now just to help cover that. Because he's got several more brigades and if he keeps launching them, the Stonewall Brigade might end up breaking. But so far so good. They're causing almost 4 to 1 casualties. And here he comes over here now. And let's see how the uh, how the smoothbores do as he gets close. As he's coming up this hill and these smoothbores get into him, that should work out pretty well for me. All right, he's shifting out further out to this side. That's interesting. I've never had this happen before. Probably has something to do with the fact that I'm not holding the line up further. All right, back to this side over here. Of course, he's got a significant advantage in numbers now. He's got me almost two to one. He's got me by about 20,000 men right now on the field. But he still hasn't launched any kind of an attack. At least not on this side. Here comes another melee attack on Stonewall Brigade. He's sending two brigades this time, so I need to get Douglas over here. Just as some backup. Stonewall Brigade's doing well, though, but they've lost 300 men. So they're definitely going to need help. Keep an eye over here. Oh, interesting. He's kind of shifting his flank right in front of me here. And now he's backing up. All right. Hang tight right there, Douglas. All right, here comes the first action over against Archer. Or not. I guess they've been engaged and I just haven't paid attention to it. Still nothing on my left. I think he's waiting until he gets more men. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Until we get to some more action. It's really interesting he hasn't attacked me in a heavier way yet. I just think he's waiting. Sometimes he does that on this battle. Because if he hits me hard with a lot of men in one spot, I probably can't stop him. But if he throws things at me piecemeal, I should be okay. Here comes Heitzelman's third corps. Oh, Stonewall Brigade's breaking. Okay, we'll throw Douglas up here. Let Stonewall be the backup. They've got a thousand kills, though. Reno's 9th Corps spotted in full force. Yeah, we're going to start seeing the attack here soon, I think. Got to keep an eye on my supply. Oh, okay, my artillery's already low on ammo. I may have to hold off until he actually attacks me. Now, I think once this phase of the battle's up, that's when we'll get the second core coming in on my right. Looks like he's finally going to bring an attack. We'll 
What is going on here? Why is Douglas routing? I don't understand that. They've lost 60 men. How is he routing? I don't understand what happened there. Interesting. I gotta be careful here though, because Archer's in a position where he can get flanked. In fact, there is flanking happening there now. And General Johnston's been wounded, so this is a problem. I didn't think about that happening. So definitely a flaw in my plan there that I should have accounted for. Once they reform, I'm just going to plug them in right here and I'm going to have to pull these guys back. And here comes another attack. Get Douglas over here. I'll pull the Orphan Brigade over here this way. Put Archer up here. Two brigades coming at me again. Come on, Douglas, get in there. All right, Archer, you got to move a little faster, buddy. And the Stonewall Brigade broke. Okay, hold up, Douglas, right there. I just gotta hang on over here on this side because in two and a half hours I'll get my reinforcements. Just hanging out in the field in front of me. Alright, we'll go ahead and speed things up again. Just keeping an eye out. If he launches an attack somewhere, I'll slow it down. Not sure what Milroy's doing right here, but we'll watch and see. He's about to eat some canisters, what he's gonna do. Uh, he might run away too quick. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm just looking at casualties here. Uh, he outnumbers me just about exactly two to one, but he's lost 3,000 men, I've lost 1,000. And I'm about to get a huge bunch of reinforcements in two more hours. Just got to hang on till then. And these two brigades plus some skirmishers are doing the job on my right. And here comes, here comes the big attack that I gotta worry about on this side. All right, I might need to shift somebody over, but we'll see what happens. Just gotta hang on for a little bit longer. I might have been better off to put one of my batteries over on that side. He's really not pressing the attack on my left.
I'm using a lot of supply on these guns. I'm gonna I'm gonna order my cannon to stop firing unless he launches an attack. I can't risk being out of supply for my infantry. Reinforcements are finally arriving. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, I've got an ammo problem over here. I don't remember if my second core has supply or not. Whoa, hello. See what's happening over here. I want to make sure he's not attacking. All right, I think we're in good shape now. I'm gonna tear up these two batteries. If I can destroy this battery, I can go after these supplies. That would actually be really helpful. Maybe we'll just do that anyway. Don't fire. Break off from that battery. Go get the supplies. Here we go. While you're at it, kill General Siegel. Or capture him. That battery's destroyed. Or maybe we're not gonna do anything to General Siegel. Let's just go grab these other supplies. Thank you. And thank you. No, you're not getting them back with your general over here. I'll make sure Forrest stays in the way of that happening. He really never did attack up here. Get these supplies back. And then I'll start forming a line of battle right here. I gotta be careful because somewhere back here, he's got a brigade, I think, that broke back there. There he is. I'm 
All right, come over here and supply some folks. I guess we're good on supplies now, so we'll let our guns open back up. See if I can capture this guy. All right, Stuart, you're out there kind of by yourself. Let's back up. Oh, look at this. Some random Union supplies in my rear. All right, awesome. Let's go grab those. Got to keep pursuing him, though. All right, Stuart, you need to back up some more. Back up, back up, back up. Or let's just move the rest of the line up. Can do it that way, I guess. Awesome, grab those supplies, get them up by my line. All right, Iverson, your job is just to go where he goes. We'll let these skirmishers go get back to their parent units. All right, so just looking at um, what needs to be held in order to have a victory. The middle one right there, hold Stony Ridge, inflict at least 20% more casualties on the enemy. I'm content with that. Unless I feel like I can absolutely destroy his army, there's no reason to press that attack against a superior force. And right now we're looking at, I don't know, 6,000 casualties for him compared to 2,000 for me. And I know the benefit of destroying an army where possible, but in this particular case, it's just not favorable for me to do that. I'm going to send uh, some skirmishers back here to help deal with Jackson. All right, we're on to the next day. I'm going to get more reinforcements, but I'm going to be pretty content with where I'm at. Uh, yeah, he just got reinforcements too, so he's got me by 19,000 men. Uh, there's really very little to be gained by me increasing that. But let's go back and look at camp for just a second, because I can't at least replenish... Some of my forces get a general in here in command of the units that where I lost one. So we'll replenish some of these guys here. Got a two-star unit now. Yep, nothing we can do there. All right, I'm pretty content with that. We'll get back into the action. All right. Of course, now everything resets as far as my line of battle. And I'm going to go right back where I was because I'm pretty happy with that position. And now we're going to move these guys again. So we'll connect with them and pull the line right to here. And then just see what he does. 
I'll come back when there's action. Okay, so here he comes. He's going to try again. And he's going to fail again. I am going to back these guns up, though. And move these guys up a little bit. He's going to actually assault me this time. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and shift a couple of units over here to just back them up. As well as some artillery. Alright, so he's punching a hole in my line. That's okay. We're going to punch him right back. Oh, come on, Gibson. Don't get pulled out. Definitely continues to be one of my biggest frustrations in this game is how they can pull you out in a melee attack. Okay. We're in good shape. Objective continues to be in good position here, inflicting at least 20% more casualties on the enemy. He's got me by 13,000 men. Really, only the only action going on right now is right here. Oh, there's Abner Doubleday, the guy who did not invent baseball. However, he did claim and probably did actually fire the first Union shots of the Civil War at Fort Sumter. He was later in command at, uh, of the First Corps at Gettysburg and was falsely accused by uh, Oliver Howard as having been responsible for the Union having to retreat when it was really Ho Howard's men who fell back and caused the First Corps to have to retreat, but they ended up replacing Doubleday in command of the First Corps with, uh, I think, John Newton. from an, He was from another Corps, maybe the 5th or the 3rd, I don't remember. But Doubleday actually did quite well at Gettysburg, at least in my opinion, after Reynolds was killed. But he didn't invent baseball. All right, where's our supplies? He's got me by 12,000 men, still. I 
come down here and get on these guys' flank. All right, no, we're not going to counterattack. Pretty content where we are. Uh, yeah, I'm not the least bit interested in securing Henry Hill. Just going to try and cause some more casualties and finish this thing off. Bye bye. Good day for Douglas. Over two thousand kills, only two hundred and fifty eight deaths. Just wiped out a battery. Or is about to. No, 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 don't give up. Stay on him. There we go. All right, now you may return home. I think that's probably about all we're going to see. If anything interesting happens, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of this fight. Okay, so there we have it. The end of the battle, second battle of Bull Run. Probably the least bloody I've ever had that battle. 2,500 casualties for me. Um, almost 10,000 by the time you count the missing and the guns actually over 10,000 for him. Uh, so, yeah, good day for me. Uh, captured lots of supplies. Wow, uh, real nice amount of supplies here. Uh, captured some Napoleons, some 10-pounders, some various guns, some more Springfield 1855s. All right, so let's see where we're sitting at as we go into the Antietam campaign. The Homeland Defense Cross, all right. We have lost the second battle of Bull Run. We are now in desperate need of more troops. You're always in need of more troops. 74,500 recruits are being held in reserve by Union High Command, and we anticipate them being used in a campaign against your forces. Wow. 142 to 147,000 now. Training still low, armor still low, but dang. Are you kidding me with this number? Good thing we got Fredericksburg coming up before too long because we're going to have to inflict some heavy casualties on these guys. So we've got Weapons Factory, Chantilly, Chantilly's first, and then we'll go into Antietam, which is, of course, a grand battle. Uh, I'm just curious to see what his army is going to look like at Antietam right now. 85,000. Okay, so and obviously I, at the moment, only have 50, but I'm going to have more. So we'll see how this goes. Um, uh, we'll go one politics and one more in medicine. And I'll go ahead and get refit and get ready and come back the next day with the, uh, in another day with the Battle of Chantilly. As always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, great comments so far. I really appreciate it. Keep it coming. Uh, I've learned a great deal from all of you guys. So if you've enjoyed this series and you want to see more, please just hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, use the comment section below for any and all things that you want to share. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.